Okay, let's try one more of these. And I wanted to do this one specifically because it has this weird fraction in it. And um, we're supposed to graph this equation. So since they didn't give us any hints or pointers, we're going to make that um, t-chart. And remember, we're going to choose x values and find the y that goes along with it. Now, the problem here is the fraction. And when we were dealing with fractions, it, it's good to be very um, smart about what numbers you choose. It will make things much easier for you in the end. Now, we can always work with fractions. That's not a big deal. I mean, you guys all know how to um, you know, add, subtract, multiply, and divide with fractions. But if we can get away from it, it would be much nicer. Well, think about what this says. This says negative 3 fourths times x. So I'm going to be multiplying by some number to this negative 3 fourths. It would be really, really nice if I multiplied by things that would help this cancel. Things like negative 4. 0 is always good. Positive 4. Now the reason I chose these is very specific. Let's say, let's look at this negative 4 first and let's plug that in. Um, that means y will equal negative 3 fourths but instead of x I'm going to multiply times 4 plus 3. Well can't I say 4 over 1 isn't that the same thing? And look what happens. So y equals a negative times a negative is a positive and these fours cancel on top and bottom. So that's just positive 3 over 1 which is 3 plus 3. Remember it was positive because negative times negative is positive. So actually y equals 6. If you choose numbers that are multiples of this denominator this will always happen. It will cancel and you won't have to worry about the fraction anymore. Okay, let me plot that point real quick. That's negative 4, positive 6, which would be right there. And let's try another point. Now, I like 0. 0 always works very nicely. Let's see, that would be y equals negative 3 fourths times 0 plus 3. Well, anytime you multiply by 0, that's gone. That's why that's so lovely. So y would equal 3. That, again, is a point, so let's plot that nothing in the x direction, 3 in the y direction would be right there. And let's do this last one here. Um, if I were to put in a 4 for my x value, y would equal negative 3 fourths times 4 plus 3. Okay, again, let's look at signs first. Negative times a positive is a negative, and we've got 4 on top and bottom. So that's just negative 3 plus 3 which is 0. So when we used 4 for our x we end up with 0 for the y so that point would be right here. 4 in the x direction nothing in the y direction and these do form a line. These are actually called collinear points because they lie along the same line.